Okay, so today is the first time I can actually say that I've ever been triggered by watching a YouTube video. So every morning I watch YouTube while I'm drinking a cup of coffee. And well, I stumble across this video and it's something along the lines of um, Casey Knight's that style of videos kind of dying. And it kind of was going into um, copycats and things like that. And well, being someone that is kind of inspiring to be a filmmaker at some point in my life or do some type of commercial work, um, it, it really just irritated me because People that don't know filmmaking associate a style with a technique. Like, sure, yeah, there are different styles of filmmaking, and each filmmaker has his own style. But a lot of times people in YouTube forget that filmmaking didn't start just because YouTube started. Filmmaking has been around for many, many years, and, well, just because I use a time lapse or I use B-roll doesn't make me a copycat of Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon. And that's kind of what this thing was referring to, just because you use time lapse in a, in a video or you use B-roll like Peter McKinnon, you're trying to copy their style when technically they didn't create these styles or not styles, they didn't create these techniques. So I do want to make a distinction between copying someone's work and using the same techniques as someone else. So copying someone else's work is stealing it, stealing it wholesale. Everything about the video from the theme to the talking points, the style of the video, how they shoot the video, like everything to the T. That's what I would consider copying. So if I was to take a Casey Neistat video and use it word for word, shot for shot, I would, be, I would consider that theft and you're copying Casey Neistat. But using a technique similar to Casey, K, Casey Neistat, in my opinion, is not copying Casey Neistat. Being for the simple fact that these techniques have been used for many, many years before Casey even used it. And part of the reason Casey is using these techniques is because of his filmmaking background and his understanding of film. So you have to understand that any movie director follows a set of rules. Every movie, if you break it down into the many acts that it has, is all the same. There are, few, there are a few different story arcs that you can follow, but every story arc ends the same, or has two different ways it can end. So, technically, if you want to apply that rule to everything that you see, everything is a copy of something else. So, okay, so I had to come inside because my allergies are active up again, and. My eyes were burning and I couldn't hardly see, so I had to come back home. I actually, I am on the over-the-counter allergy medication, but it doesn't seem to be working. But I wanna leave you with this. There is no doubt that Casey Neistat has changed the way we look and what we wanna see as far as vlogs. He definitely brought a more filmmaker's eye to YouTube. And um, no one is ever gonna deny that, that he is the godfather of YouTube when it comes to vlogging. He has definitely changed the game. But don't get upset with people when they are simply using the same techniques that Casey did not create, but being that he has a filmmaker's background that he brung to YouTube. No one is denying that Casey brung that look to YouTube when no one else was. I mean, in the beginning, it was all amateurish point and shoot cameras. No one was really using you know, nice cameras like Casey Neistat. So, he ushered in the era of high quality vlogs. Yes, we're not gonna deny that, but to say that I am copying Casey Neistat for using the same techniques, not now, and, and let's distinguish technique versus stealing Casey's work all out just completely. Like, that's not what I'm talking about, and I wanna really put emphasis on that. I'm not talking about people that steal his work and use, use a vlog that he has it makes the same vlog, same styles, shots, everything. That's not what I'm talking about. He has inspired a lot of people to use filmmakers techniques. And now I think we're in a position or we're in a transition to where people are still using the case nights that's, you know, influence, but now people are pushing towards that Peter McKinnon 
influence a little bit where you're starting to see more people use B-roll and things like that. But Peter McKinnon didn't create B-roll. B-roll is in every single movie you've ever watched. B-roll is in every single sitcom, reality show, anything that you've ever watched before you've ever watched YouTube. And I'm sorry to say people that have grown only watching YouTube, all this stuff existed before YouTube. Now, that's just like saying Steph Curry created three point shot, which is simply not true. He's just made it popular. He's changed basketball forever because of how deadly he is at shooting the three point shot. So same thing with Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat. They're just so great at creating blogs and implementing filmmaking techniques that everyone is influenced now. Everyone wants to put that style into every single blog that they create. Guys, just please distinguish and make sure you understand the difference between stealing someone's work and using the same techniques to create your own style. And, you know, I just wish people would understand that. When you tell someone they're copying someone, it's, in my opinion, it's an insult. When I literally, I'm not copying someone, I'm just using the same techniques. Now, no one has personally ever said that I was trying to copy Casey Neistat or Pena McKinnon. I would honestly take that as a compliment, but my videos aren't that good right now. I'm just saying as a whole, as I get better, I know I will you know, dibble and dabble into these techniques and I have on occasion, but it doesn't make me a copycat because I'm using filmmaking techniques. You guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.